you know last month I developed cough and cold I didn't really take care I just avoided very cold water and I thought it will be fine on its own but it didn't after two days I developed fever fever was very high it even went up to 105 and next day I was normal again third day there was fever so when the doctors checked it they said it could be malaria I took medicine after the blood test and say after about 10 days I was hale and hearty now what will you label this disease as maybe you will be able to understand what I am pointing out if I give you another example on the other hand a friend of mine developed tuberculosis a bacterial disease but the effect was for a very very long time because tuberculosis was of bones the back was paining like anything she could not even move around there was loss of weight and as a result it took of course she took dots you have seen the ads of dot by Vivek O'Brien if dot you don't remember Vivek O'Brien you must be remembering because all the superstars are heroes these days so the medicine was taken she recovered but doctor said that you have to be very careful because you can also be due for secondary infection your immunity has gone down from immunity I remember there is a disease which is concerned with immunity have you guessed AIDS AIDS is complete breakdown of immunosystem now how will you label these two diseases normal cough and cold or malaria which lasted for few days affected the person but not so much or say TB or AIDS now these type of diseases are called acute when the symptoms are very uncomfortable we are uncomfortable but their effect remains for a short period and these kind of diseases are called chronic so you can say acute diseases last for short period while the chronic diseases last for very long period maybe whole of the life so you can very easily guess which one will affect us more certainly chronic diseases so the chronic diseases not only last for very long time they can also damage the organs or tissue like in the case of tuberculosis of bones the bones can be affected so this is what is an acute and chronic disease 